Warning, this content is not for kids. If you're a kid, fuck off. Welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. We're back at the, well, one of the camping spots, but it looks like somebody else has been enjoying it. They put a log there so the fire doesn't spread any further, but they've kind of let the fire get a wee bit too big. Look, it's burnt the tree. Oh, I've just realized you've burnt my bloody f <laughs> These two were my seat. Have you kept my logs from my seat or have you burnt them? Ah, they burnt my seat, man. They burnt my seat. They have lost. Maybe they didn't lose, they just left it there. A broken bungee. A broken bungee and a little bit of a guy line by the looks of it. There's the other end of the bungee. Right, quickly, look, while the sun's it, I'm gonna... Oh, oh, <laughs> give me another stick while the sun's it. Right. Pop that stick in the ground. Now we're gonna put a marker right on the end of that shadow. Oh man. It was meant to be sunny all day. The sun disappeared as soon as I got in the car. So uh, I've been waiting all day to do this. Waiting all day to do this. This marker here is west. We're going to come back to this then in 10 or 20 minutes. This is what it's been like all day. The sun just keeps disappearing behind the clouds. So there's our main stick and there's our first marker. As soon as the sun comes out again, it's probably going to be about there somewhere. I'll stick in the next marker anyway. As soon as the sun comes out again, here's home for tonight. He's excited because he knows we're staying. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. I know you're excited, mate. Always. Have extra bungees. I use bungees to keep my, my bed roll rolled together. But I'm glad that I do because I needed them for this setup. I've did a loopy 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 loop and then I've stuck the tent peg in there so that's only going to come out now once I pull the tent peg out. That tree's not moving. I thought the tree was dead but there's greenery going on at the top of there. Tomorrow morning before we leave I'm going to dismantle all that so nobody else has a fire there because they're killing that tree. But let me give you a quick look around here. Still waiting for the sun to come back out so I could put another marker in there. British Army, 54 pattern. Absolutely bulletproof bivvy bag. It's Allen proof. His nails have never put a hole in there once. And his nails put holes in everything. People think, oh, your dog's got sharp nails. You should maybe take them for a walk on the concrete. That's a fib. That's a fib. It's an old wife's tale because his nails are tiny. And I mean tiny. They're short because he lives on concrete. So he keeps his nails short every day. But because he's running on concrete, the nails are sharp. Like they've been sharpened to a wee sharpie. They've got edges on them. So when somebody says, take your dog for a walk, their nails are too long, or their nails are too sharp, I mean, that doesn't mean the nails are too long. Anyway, tell them to shut up. That was an argument I had with a taxi driver once, actually. <laughs> My dugout, well, I call it a dugout, I never dug anything out. But it seems to still be semi-standing. The moss hasn't died, so they've connected into each other and kept growing. That's pretty cool, is it? Wee twiggy twiggy twigs and stuff. So if that was some animal's house, I made them move house overnight. I evicted them. What is it? Oh, God damn it, look at that.
more guy line. Bright orange as well. How did you miss that? And it's on the path. How did you miss that? Right, in the pocket. Are you going to shit up? God damn it. I never actually mentioned this. Eh? This episode is the episode where I'm going to teach you how to find north, south, east and west without a compass. Clearly the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, and at midday it's at its highest point. Top of the morning, that's where the phrase top of the morning comes from. That is directly south. But we're in the northern hemisphere just now. Just now. <laughs> you guys down south. Down deep south. Uh, reverse everything. Let's just pretend we can see the sun. And let's just pretend that you own an actual analog watch but let's just pretend you have one of these watches and the time is five o'clock because that's what the time is now pointing the hour hand at the sun and in between the hour hand and 12 halfway in between the hour hand and 12 is south so that's south right there and that works for whatever time of day it is so point the hour hand at the sun that way, that way, that way, or that way. And in between the hour hand and 12 uh, is self. If you're in the woods and you're trying to use moss as a, because everybody thinks that moss only grows on the north side because the north side's the, the side of the tree that doesn't get any sun. You can't always follow that rule because if the forest is dense enough, moss grows all the way around the tree. Using moss on the north side of a tree to find north, scrap that. That's not reliable. So we'll have a clear night. We could see the stars. That's Orion. But what we want to concentrate on is the middle section. These three and these three, that's Orion's belt. Orion's belt is always in the south. These three dots and these three dots, they'll stand out more than the other five. But you'll, you'll, you'll pick it up, you'll, you'll notice it. But during the process of the night, the process, <laughs> during the night, this will travel over the night sky, it'll, well, it'll rotate, I mean, and it'll end up like that before the sun comes up that side. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This constellation That's called the Big Dipper. This star here is called Dubi. D-U-B-H-E. And this star here is called Marek. It kind of looks like a saucepan. But the very edge of the saucepan, Marek and Dubi, they point to this star here. That star is called Polaris. Polaris, that's the North Star. And just like uh, Orion, this will rotate through the sky as well, but it will always point to the North Star. It will rotate around that. So there you go. Orion's belt to find south. The Big Dipper to find north. For this one, I need Alan's water bowl, a leaf, a sewing needle. Now what I want to do now is I'm going to take the, the eye end of the needle. And I'm going to do this a hundred times, fifty times on each side. 
and so I'll get back to you in a second. Now according to science, we've now magnetised the end of that needle. So I'm going to put Alan's water bowl back there, put this needle in the middle of the leaf, in the middle of the leaf, and put that in there, and then it should scientifically rotate north. Let's put it that way, because we know north's kind of that way. Oh, I slipped. Ah, oh, come on, I'm slipping the fucking needle. Right, dude, 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 dude. Is he going to spin? Ah, it's sinking. It's sinking, but it's rotating, no? It's rotating. Rotate that way. It should settle. Please just settle there. Don't make a dickhead out of me. Right, stay there. Don't rotate any further. It's not rotating any further. Thank you. So that's now pointing north. Look at this discarded bungee. That will work. There we go. Tent peg to the rescue. I'm just going to stuff the other end of that into there. And now we'll tie a knot in this end. We now have a fully functional bungee. Yay. Mother, you give good advice. Always you mean well. Where well, Alan's got his gay jumper on. Alan, come and show everybody your gay jumper that you absolutely he hates having this on. <laughs> it took me a while to get him. Alan, come and show everybody. Look. Look, Murdo, you'd love that. Look. It's a brilliant wee. Look. Show everybody your jumper. Yeah, it's a nice jumper, is it? Wait a minute, did you nearly impale yourself? Right guys, so you use that tree and that tree and put up a hammock. Yeah you are. Right boys and girls, this guy knows his stuff and his name's Outsider Tank so he's clearly an ex-paratrooper so I clicked on his channel and I've just been watching this stuff. <laughs> I've been watching this stuff all day and all night. Look, I'm in the middle of the woods now. I'm in the middle of the woods and I'm watching. I'm still watching this guy. I've actually downloaded. <laughs> That's how much I've been enjoying his stuff. Look, I've actually downloaded his videos. Go to library, go to downloads, and look, here's what I've got to watch. The Landridno Wells and the Valley Social 46 Hours carp fishing video. Uh, I'm watching the Landridno Wells. Uh, I'm never going to say it as cool as the Welsh do. The Landridno Wells. Landridno Wells. Oh, guys. Guys, I've never actually really did a serious stealth camp, you will never find me video. Do you want to see a stealth camp video? Check this out, look. Oh 
man. See, now, now you want to go and subscribe to this channel, do you? Right, go. <laughs> now, that, that's stealth camping, man. That is stealth camping. Right, I'm going to get back to this. I'll see you guys in a bit. For some reasons, file up over all windows. Full screen. Aye, aye. He's in his bed. I'm in my bed. We can't see any eyeballs. We can't see any eyeballs reflecting any light back at me, so there's no animals kicking about. Why is it that humans are the only species on the planet whose eyeballs don't reflect light? If we evolved from apes, why have you never heard of a gorilla with a bad back? Why does your dog and your cat never get the sniffles. We're not designed for this planet, man. The humans, as we know it, were designed and created and mass-produced to mine gold. <laughs> These are the type of things I think about when I'm meant to be sleeping. Right, anyway, I'm going to wait to go to sleep. You've actually still got your jumper on. Mm -hmm. You still got your jumper on. You normally roll out of them. Right, go and get a pee. The sun's out. Let's, uh, let's do this. Right. See that stick in the ground near the tip of the shadow. We'll leave a marker there. We'll come back to that in ten, ten minutes. I'm going to get a brew on. Top tip. Poke your stick in a clearing, eh? Nowhere trees, nowhere trees are going to cast a shadow over it. Eh? Brew! No, boys and girls, I swear. I did this all last night as well. I've been switching on the GoPro, and because it's on, I just assume it's recording. I've been doing whole bits. The sun come back. I got another stick in. To just put it into the tip of the shadow the first one's west and then the next ones are always going to be pointing east well we've got this sun for a second and we go there's the next marker between those three that's east no sorry west the first one you put in is always west uh, and then if we do that there we go. North, south, east, west. Never engage salty women. <laughs> right, let's move them out of there. That's how you find north, south, east and west with a stick in the ground and the sun if it decides it wants to play. Mother, you give good advice. Always you mean well Now I need it more than ever I'm inside this cell I'm behind the prison wall The bed's so hard and much too small There's no pyjamas here at all Oh mother, what'll I do now? They told me they would treat me swell Tucked inside me little cell But up to now it's been like I do now We part from each other And that's too bad Cause you're my favorite mother The best I ever had Tonight I've got a date you see But they won't let me have the key And the warden won't stay up for me Oh mother what will I do now It's hard to pass the time away I'm in a dangerous mood I say I've smoked two cigarettes today Oh mother, what'll I do now? First 
first I stand and then I sit, then I sit and stand a bit, but I can't stand much more of it. Oh, mother, what'll I do now? We parted from each other, and that's too bad, cause you're my favorite mother, the best I ever had. I've got such an awful shock I asked the time cause there's no clock And the warden said six months old cock Don't matter what'll I do now I ordered lunch from soup to sweet But they forgot the fish and meat And since this soup is now to eat Oh mother what'll I do now I've had such a tummy ache All night long I've been awake Some castor oil they make me take Oh mother we parted from each other, and that's too bad, cause you're my favorite mother, the best I ever had. I played pizza, flyaway pole, I played tiddlywinks and all, I've written rude words upon the wall, oh mother, what will I do now? Everything's dismantled, chucked to the sides. So this place has been compromised. We won't be coming back here again. It was a shame. So, if anybody asks, we weren't here. This might be the last time I'm walking through this bit. If we're not coming, I'm definitely not coming back here. Know that, know that now. Not. Now that somebody's set fire to that tree, I don't want the blame for that. Not at all. Well, boys and girls, it's that time of the video again. Thanks for tuning in and hitting that like button. And big fat thanks to all you subscribers. I'll see you in the comments, you beautiful humans. Ta-ta.